morning children before I start the lesson i would like to give some information related to the topic children if you observe the sky in the evening you will find some stars here and there when the sky became clear you will see countless stars in the as in sky and in rainy season thunder lightning cyclonic winds rain etc are common and it is day when sun rises and it is night when sun sets how are these things takes place in the sky shall we find out the reasons for all those things in the lesson the sky in this lesson you are going to learn the sun and its family the shape and size of the earth the movements of the earth and what are the causes for days and night and you also learn about the asteroids meteorites and comets and the movements of the moon and its phases and why the earth is an unique planet among other planets this there are points you are learning to this lesson today we are discussing about the sun and its family the sun and its family is known as solar system its family means eight planets thousands thousands of uh, asteroids meteorites comets and 173 satellites these all together we call solar system the solar system is in the present the solar system is in the present of the galaxy which is known as milky way the solar system is in the milky way galaxy and sun the sun is a star our stars are self luminous celestial bodies celestial bodies means the sun moon planets stars are we call celestial bodies the stars are celestial self luminous celestial bodies because the stars have own light and the and the sun is also a star the sun is nearer to the earth than any other star that's why it uh, looks bigger and brighter than any other star and the sun gives us light and heat which is very essential for the uh, all living beings for planets birds uh, animals every uh, living being need heat and light that is provided by the sun the sun is center of the solar system in ancient time people thought that the earth is the center of the solar system the sun the and other planets uh, orbiting around the earth this is known as geocentric model it is propounded by the ptolemy but after the aryabhatta the first indian astronomer and mathematician proposed that the sun is the center of the solar system and the earth and all other planets revolving around the sun this is known as heliocentric model after the copernicus uh, kepler many were supported to this model and after galileo galilei invented in this uh, telescope and this is supported to this model next the planets till 2005 there are nine planets in the solar system pluto is also considered the ninth planet but pluto didn't have the characteristics of the planet so it is removed from the solar system now there are eight planets in the solar system they are mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune what is a planet then a celestial body orbiting around the sun along an elliptical orbit is called a planet every planet has its own path of movement which is used to around the sun that is called orbit the curve path followed by a planet to orbit in the sun is called Earth. and the, even the earth is also has one part of human and the all the planets are non celestial non luminous celestial bodies means the planets not have own light and heat they will depend upon bright to get heat and light this is the meaning of planets next class we will discuss
discuss about the shape, size of the earth and